All right, so it's working now, so we should be good. Uh, so obviously, with how the series went, it didn't go the best, like for energy. Um, I know there were different times between game two and game three that it looked like you guys did have a chance to win it, and then it kind of didn't work out. So, what are your takeaways from the like series, and um, and what do you think could have like been done differently? Um, takeaways, I think we need to adjust a little bit in drafts and um, just be more decisive because I think most of the games it felt like to me were decided by like um, just a couple of team fights. So if we mm-hmm. navigated those a bit differently, then I think the outcome would be different. So um, you know, mm-hmm. good thing we're in the upper bracket, so we can uh, you know learn from this and we're not like completely bounced out. So um, you know, we'll just uh, learn what we can and move on. Because I think uh, you guys face the winner of Golden Guardians versus TL, I think, yep. right? Yep. To decide who goes to second place and then um, and then yep. whoever loses goes to face the loser of that one. So, um, so in between each match, obviously you guys go outside. You, uh, what was kind of like the mindset or what was discussed in between like each match? Um, it was mainly just draft. Um, everyone was pretty chill. No one really tilted. I think the vibes were good. Um, mm-hmm. Overall, it's just we're just judging um, drafts, some things we can adjust in, in the game, and mm-hmm. um, just uh, preparing for the next game and, and uh, you know what we want to do, how we want to adjust, uh, wh- how we play our game. So mm-hmm. just a lot of um, you know just preparing for the next game. Mm-hmm. Now. Was there anything that you felt like in the draft that should have been taken off the table or um, should have been put, like, not banned kind of thing? Um, not necessarily. To me personally, I felt like all the games were winnable if we just executed a bit better. Mm-hmm. Um, I think once they got a lead, they kind of ran away with it in game one. But um, I think game two and three were winnable. I think I needed to play a little bit better. But um, even then... Um, we had a moment in game two where we could have gone Baron if uh, Kevin's didn't die to Kaisa. So, yeah, I remember. Um, from there we could have been in a position to win. So, um, I think just small changes, like stuff very minuscule. So, um, uh, yeah. And Kazix was contracts, if I recall, right? Yeah. Okay. I was just. <laughs> There's lots of names to remember. So if they're not on your team, it's like okay. Um, obviously. Like you said, there is still a chance. Um, if I recall, you also get, no matter what where you fall, as long as you're in the top three, isn't it like still Worlds playoff thing? Yeah, we're, we're in the group stage of Worlds. Yeah. Okay. Now, what is one team on the world stage that you want to play against? Um, T1, Gen G, JDG, um, BLG. I mean, kind of all the teams, really. There's no like one that super stands out because... Um, you know, looked at all their games from mm-hmm. all regions, and um, you know, I think they're all great teams. So I want to see how we can do against them. And I was gonna say, with T1 now having Faker back, I know a lot of people are excited, both pro players and fans. Yeah, I mean, they haven't qualified for Worlds yet, so um, but I think they'll make it. Mm-hmm. Um, so now I know the commentators keep talking about NRG stepping out of the shadow of CLG. Did you feel kind of like that there was like an added pressure in the playoffs to perform with that kind of mentality being pushed onto you guys, or no? Um, no, I don't think that's. I don't think that's necessarily being pushed on us, or necessarily there's any pressure coming out of like CLG or NRG. I, no one on our team even thinks about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, we just want to. The pressure is just you know do the best that we can, and um, you know it's like intrinsic for us. Um, we just want to do the best that we can, and that's uh, what motivates us. Mm-hmm. Um, so now I'm gonna go with game three. In game three, obviously there's Renekton versus Jax. Early game, Renekton I believe has the advantage against Jax, but it really seemed like the pressure fully wasn't there. Uh, was it just like prioritization of like? Uh, contracts like in rotation or was it more just you know wanting to play the farm game and just get those engages where you can um i think the lane went fine we both had windows where we were strong i think um game three we played around it pretty well and game one it was 
bit more um, neutral, yeah. and um, we both kind of got to do our own thing, but um, they just had some better fights. So overall, I mean, the weighing kind of went about as expected. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so some league questions, but not serious questions. Uh, what originally got you in the league? Uh, just my uh, friend and my brother were just talking about it all the time in, uh, on our way to school, and then eventually I just uh, tried it out once, and from there I was just, you know, it just drew me in. Mm-hmm. Now, ironically, did any of them make the pro player challenger play? <laughs> Not close, no. That's what Apollo was saying, his, his brother got him in and it never got there. Um, who were some of your favorite champions to play when you were climbing and then? Um, Oriana was like my first main um and then i moved to like irelia for a long time and then had some ribbon at uh the old grave before the rework um kind of just played everything mm-hmm. i was just you know just learning the game just playing for fun so all, it was all fun do you remember the first champion you ever played i think it was darius if i'm not mistaken but i'm not 100 sure that <laughs> might have been someone else but i think it was darius it's okay. I barely remember mine, so it was mine was Jax, ironically, and I just kept maxing Q because I didn't yeah. know what to do. Yeah. Um, who are sa- some of your favorite champions now? Uh, probably still like Irelia, um, Yon, Jace, um, those type of champions like Gazers. I think um, are really fun to play. Uh, if you could play with, you know how you guys have the two v two tournament sometimes. Uh, if you could play with any one player that's not on your team in the 2v2 tournaments, who would you pick? can be any region. Probably, yeah, I would probably play with... I'd probably play with Zven. I think he's just hilarious. So um, mm-hmm. it'd, be, it'd be really funny the way he commentates. And uh, I think he just has a really funny sense of humor. So it'd be really enjoyable playing with him. Okay. That's funny because the uh, Golden Guardians top laner picked uh, Blabber. So you're taking two Clan 9 players. Um, So going against this is going back to Challenger Series, but going against either Golden Guardians or Team Liquid, which one do you think would be an easier matchup? And then which one would you also like to play against? Um, I don't know about easier matchup. I think they both have their strengths and weaknesses as teams. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm ki- I'm kind of excited to see like how they play because I think uh, it'll be a close series. So um, mm-hmm. and uh, for whoever I face, I don't. It doesn't really matter. We beat them both before. Um, and I think our side of the black, our side of the bracket, when I was first side was significantly harder than the other side. So um, it's no surprise that they're on the um, top four as well. Mm-hmm. And then I believe that game's not the game that you guys are playing is not until. Saturday next week, right? Yeah, next Saturday, yeah. So how are you kind of mentally preparing to not only having to play that, but also go to New Jersey and play it in front of, like, a bigger live audience? Um, I'm not sure exactly. It's my first time, um, you know, playing in front of a stadium, playing out for it. So, um, you know, I'm not exactly sure what to expect, but, um, you know, we're just going to kind of try to keep it a normal schedule, watch your games, play solo queue, swim, um, try to keep everything similar, mm-hmm. um, and uh, just feed off the energy in the crowd, yeah. All right. All right, so some non-league questions. Um, favorite hobbies outside of league? Uh, probably gym and music, those two. Okay. For music, do you have a favorite genre or artist or favorite multiple artists if you want? Probably EDM right now. Um, EDM's like my... Number one, and then after that, it's like rap. Just depends on the mood. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. Just the whole genre, or no specific artist, or house, house music. Um, like Martin Garrix a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, like Lesser, like those type of uh, artists. Okay. As for the gym, hate leg day or like leg day? <laughs> yeah, kind of indifferent about it. Honestly, it's like. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. But in the, in the end, it's like neutrals out, and I'm pretty happy after I've done leg day. So it's like, yeah. I get it. Uh, cats or dogs? I've never had a dog, so I can't say. Um, there's some affectionate cats. It depends what type of cat you have. Like, if you have an affectionate cat, it's really nice. But if you have, like, a cat that's doing his own thing, then, um, I mean, that's chill, too. It just depends on what type of personality each uh, uh, pet has. Mm-hmm. So, um, I'm 
gonna abstain from that. <laughs> You're okay. Um, favorite food, snack, and drink, and it could be multiple if you want. Uh, probably like dosa for food, snack. I don't really snack too much, and drink. I don't really drink soda, so it's probably just water. Okay. I know uh, Core JJ was jokingly saying it was monster outside yeah. of water, so that's why. I was... I'm a rock star for us, baby. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, for friends. for snack, it could be candy or ice cream or something that like you have I a don't, sweet. I don't eat candy or ice cream too much. Only like if there's an occasion or something once in a while, but I don't really do it. Now, is dosa? I don't know what dosa is. Sorry, can you? It's like a crepe with uh, spiced potatoes, um, with samba, which is like um. Like a soup. It's not a soup, but it's like a it's like a curry, and then you dip it in with um, coconut chutney. Um, it all comes together really well. Interesting. I may have to try to look that up <laughs> to try it. Uh, favorite games outside of league, if you get to play any. I don't really play any games outside of league. Um, league kind of ruined me in that sense. So, <laughs> yeah, I I don't really play any games outside of league. It's okay. And they can't really hold my attention span for that long. So yeah. That's fair. It does take a lot of time playing League. Um, favorite movies or animes? Favorite movie? Um, Shawshank Redemption, probably. Mm -hmm. And anime, I don't... Naruto, but I haven't really watched too many Naruto or um, anime, so I kind of only watched that one. So. That's okay. Uh, ironically, when... I forget who I was talking to. Uh... They were like, oh, I have no favorite anime. And then they went and talked about a movie they watched. And then it was just all animated movies. Mm -hmm. So, um, who inspired you? Like, obviously you said your brother and your friends got you into League. But, like, when you were playing and going for the competitive scene, who kind of, like, inspired your play? Or um, even, yeah, either players or, yeah. There was no, like, real person that inspired me. I kind of just played the game for fun, and I uh, got the challenges, and I learned the rules for fun. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what it's happened. Okay. I, I wasn't really looking for inspiration from someone, but, yeah. One of the uh, players had mentioned that their mother was, like, their big inspiration because she was just cheering them on. Um, favorite place in Cali? To either just go for yourself or for touristy? If you've taken somebody there. I don't know. I don't really go outside too much. I just I haven't really explored too much <laughs> of LA. So um even though I've lived here for a while I still haven't explored too much, so I don't can't answer. I mean I like Santa Monica but like I don't like the pier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it kinda of just depends what you're trying to do, I guess. I get it. I used to live out there so I understand perfectly. The pier gets old fast and is a bit overpriced. Um I can't remember. Did you play on any other organizations? Optic, uh, TSM, Team Liquid. Okay. So, Sochi, yeah. out of all the organizations, if you weren't on NRG, like, which of those was your favorite? Probably TL. I think um, they just treated their players really well. Um, really like the vibe there, so... Um, so nice, good vibes. All right, um, and then I can put the last question of, do you like sports? And if so, uh, what are your teams, if you have teams or players? 